Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and in this video, we're gonna be going over on how to get all 18 alpha Pokemon in the Obsidian Field Lands in Pokemon Legends Arceus. All the Pokemon that I mentioned in this video are going to be static encounters, which means no matter what happens in the game, these alphas will be in the spots that they are no matter what. So if you have your Nintendo Switch and haven't found out all the areas, get ready to follow along in this video by opening up your map. Also, follow along by hitting that like button and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And let's get started. So for this video, I'm going to be showing you all the alpha Pokemon locations. And I'm going to be using Ultra Balls to catch them, along with Sticky Globs, which is a very OP stun item in the game. It takes about four to hit an alpha Pokemon for them to get stunned, and then you can just catch them. You're going to see me speed run catching all these alpha Pokemon in this area. All right, so the first alpha Pokemon that we're going to be bumping into is the Rapidash in the game. Rapidash is located right over here in the Horseshoe Plains. So go ahead and you can see Rapidash. I'm going to get off this. And you're going to see how fast we do this. We don't waste time. This is pro gaming moves. Rapidash yells at you. Okay, that's cool. One, two, three, four. Done. And I'm just going to chuck an Ultra Ball at the back. And this is how simple it is to catch Rapidash. Rapidash, done. From the Fieldlands camp, we are going to head up over here. Come down and run into the Alpha Luxio, which should be right over here. There's Alpha Luxio. I'm gonna let him yell first so he doesn't knock us out. It's it's level 40 Alpha Pokemon, and we're just going to one, two, three, four. That's it. Oh, why did it go while it was stunned? Okay, well, he's using it and hit it from the back. We didn't die or anything. And that is Alpha Luxio located right over here in the Floral Garden spot. From the Floral Gardens, we're going to head all the way down this pathway. So just head south and I'll see you at the next location. Is that Alpha Pichu? What the frick? I don't know why <laughs> Alpha Pichu just showed up out of nowhere, but I'm adding this to the collection. By the way, Alpha Pichu is not a standard spawn that happens. It's just a chance of random Pokemon changing into Alpha Pokemon. And I just happened to bump into that on the way. And that's... That's the that's the first time I actually caught Pichu in this version of the game. Okay, the next Alpha Pokemon that we are going to be bumping into is Alpha Snorlax, which is located right over here. So I'm just going to go mark it on the map. And as you can see, this is the third Alpha that we're going to be fighting. So let's let Snorlax do his little scream. There's a glitch spot where Snorlax, I think, can't reach you. So this is going to be fun. So let him yell. He's going to yell over here. I'm going to move to the glitch spot. He is level 45. And I got reached at level 10. We should be safe here. All right, there you go. He can't hit you here. So one, two, three, four. That's it. He's stunned. Going to go behind him. Take that Ultra Ball. That's it. He's caught. As you can see, it does not take long to catch Alpha Pokemon. Once you stun them, you're the appropriate research level so that you can catch them and you have the item known as the sticky glob the next alpha pokemon that we're going to be bumping into is alakazam located around the sand gem flat so we should be able to see it right about here so i'm going to go ahead mark my map alpha pokemon spot for it get off let him do his yell okay it backed off far away from it enough just to uh oh we got luxio in the way one two three four okay we should be far enough He's stunned, and we should get a nice back shot here while ignoring all these other Pokemon. And look at this. We're ignoring battle completely. Great. That's four out of four cots, and this is our fourth alpha Pokemon that we got. So that is Alakazam. The next alpha Pokemon is going to be located in the lake over here. So the only way that you can access this alpha Pokemon is if you have the Basket Legion mount. Okay, once you arrive at the lake, there's going to be a Gyarados over here should be on the left side pay attention so you don't miss it where is he there he is oh my gosh he just popped up out of nowhere on me okay so i'm gonna go ahead and focus and we're gonna go for four hits one two three four i must have missed one there we go come on come on gyarados there we go all right so we got the catch ready on him we'll go to go behind it's a little there we go hit him from the back Okay, we got it. That one, that one was actually a little complicated. Once you cross this bridge over here in the Obsidian Fieldlands, which gets you to the second part of the game, you're then going to head to the left after crossing. You will spot a Alpha Float Soul just waiting over there for you. So I'm going to mark it on the map right over here, as you can see. 
there it is. So if you feel like marking on your map along with me in this video, go ahead and do that. There it is. It is angry, and we're going to go for four hits on it. So one. Oh, make sure to dodge two. Two. Three. Four. All right, that's four hits. And catch. By the way, if you plan on stunning these Pokemon and don't have the sticky globs, you're going to have to use a bunch of spoiled apricorns, snowballs, or mud to stun them. And it takes like 14 to 15. It's way too much. So if you plan doing the stun method and you want to wait till you unlock the sticky globs later in the game, go ahead and wait because it's very efficient to catch all these alpha Pokemon. Okay, and now I'm adding Floatzel to the list of my alpha Pokemon inside of my pasture 30. So we got all the alpha Pokemon being stored over here. This is looking great. First row complete. I kind of feel like I'm collecting infinity stones as I'm grabbing all these alpha Pokemon. Okay, so the next alpha Pokemon that we want to catch is Alpha Stantler, which is located on top of Deer Track Height. So you just want to just climb up there. Wow, that was a huge jump. And there it is, right over there. You can evolve this Alpha Stantler into the Weird Deer, Weird Deer, marked. And we're going to let it scream, do its thing. It's, it's looking kind of scary. One, two, three. Whoa! And four. And keep facing that way for us. We're going to catch with the Ultra Ball. Boom. Right on its booty. Is this a catch? This is a catch. All right. Stantler is complete. The next Pokemon that we're going for is Alpha Parasect. And Parasect should be located in this ditch area right over here. So let's head over to it real fast. And there it is. It's, it's, he's screaming right there. All right, we're going to go down. Let it do its yell. All right, and it's going to run up to us. We're going to have one, two, three, just dodge out of that, and four. Okay, he's stunned. The other Parasect are probably going to be active trying to get you. And cow. Is this a catch? One time, one time, one time for the video. All right, Parasect. Done. All right, so the next Pokemon we are going for is Staravia, which is going to be located right at the Windswept Run. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark my little alpha Pokemon boss thing, and it should... Okay, there it is. It spawned right there. And we're going to go ahead and just catch it. Make sure to dodge all its moves. It's better if you don't walk into that yell. I'm, I'm, I am losing time by doing that. Okay, that's three. We're going to go for one more hit. And it's stunned. Go from the back. Hit it with a critical capture. And this should be a catch. Done. Staravia done. Level 32. If you continue to go a little more south from Windswept Run, you're going to bump into another alpha Pokemon here. It's going to be a nice little Krikatoon waiting for us as we make this turn here. Okay, there it is. Here comes the L. Okay, I still got hit. <laughs> We're going to one, two, three, four. That's it. It's done. Go ahead from the back. Chuck that Pokeball. That Ultra Ball. That Ultra Ball. I'm using Ultra Balls. And caught. Krikatoon level 30. So go ahead. Just mark that right here. Krikatoon's always going to be in this location. Okay, so the next alpha Pokemon that we're going to be looking for is that Tidewater Dam. So I'm just going to go mark this up over here. This is going to be Bidoof's Evolution. It's probably one of the easiest alphas you're going to fight. So this is definitely a good early game alpha to fight. 100%. Alright, so this is... Bibarel, level 16. This doesn't seem too bad, but I'm still going to not battle it. So one, two, three. Hey, we got three in there before the scream. And four. Get in the ball, baby. That's it. Bibarel, level 16, is now caught. So for the next alpha Pokemon, you can just teleport over to the Grand Tree Arena. Just go right over there with your teleport and just follow me as we head to the next alpha Pokemon. So go up here, take a left, climb up. A little stuck behind a tree here. Oh, it's right behind me. Okay. <laughs> I did not see him. He's over here. Okay, so there is a alpha Scyther at this spot. I, I, I thought it was in front of me, but okay. Alpha Scyther's here. This one's level 42. We're just going to head and dodge that and go for our, our hits. One, two, three, and four. You can go around, take your, uh, your Ultra Ball, and get in the ball. One. That's it. All right. Alpha Scyther is caught. And because it's an Alpha Scyther, 
you have the option to make it an alpha cleaver and alpha cleaver is just gonna look so freaking cool when you do the evolution the next alpha pokemon is low punny and it's gonna be located all the way over here so i'm just gonna cut to that part where we reach it okay so we have arrived there it is alpha low punny literally sitting at the edge of this area so just go ahead mark that up and we're gonna head right over to it and get into battle actually we're just bum rush it here comes a yell and wonder what it's gonna do one two three four and it's done can't even get the attack off of me so simple ultra ball catch okay that's another one shot ball i think ultra balls are pretty op especially when they're stunned and you hit them from behind but this is only the first area and oh look austin john plays is online <laughs> Great way to plug yourself there, buddy. All right, just adding these to my inventory. Looking good. We have so far 13 alpha Pokemon. Let's keep going. For the next few alpha Pokemon, you want to head over to the Grand Tree Arena again, and we're going to go to the right from there. So just go ahead, head over to the right, and head towards the Orboro Tunnel. So we're going to go right there right now. And once it's night in the game, when you arrive close to the tunnel, so I'm going to mark it on the map. This is a nighttime spawn. You're going to see Golbat Alpha show up Oop, that was a mistake one nope did not even hit it yet all right let's get a little closer one oh that hurt two three four okay there you go there's four that was four go for the back and hit it i mean this is this is still less than 10 seconds to probably catch this thing all right we got it so that is a level 35 goal bat that is down we got it and it's marked and you can only catch it really at night and then what we're gonna do while we're here is we're gonna hop on word deer weird deer and go up here do a little just just uh figure out how to get up there and there is a little a pd up here as well uh this is a very rare pokemon so i'm just gonna catch it for the heck of it okay i feel my dex entry out all right so as we continue up on this pathway there's high level Pokemon here. We're going to bump into a very, 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 very strong Pokemon that you can use for experience farming. And this is Blissey. Blissey is hanging out over here. There's also a Chansey up here. But we're going to go for this Blissey real quick. It's going to probably yell. Here we go. And we're going to do our one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Two, three, four. And it's weak. Go from the back. Hit it with the Ultra Ball. Level 62 Blissey. This thing is tanky. Oh, and we did not get it in one shot, so we're just probably going to have to do it again. One, two. Okay, so when you start using these significantly after the first one, you need less. So it's four sticky globs to hit an alpha Pokemon, and it's not working right now. This guy's tough. One, two. Okay, so it's two after the initial four. Can we get this one? This might be our second longest alpha hunt next to the Gyarados. All right, we finally got it. And that's a lot of XP. Whoa. Mark this location up here. This is Blissey by Obsidian Falls. All right, so once we're done with the Blissey, just go down this hill. Hopefully we don't die here. Okay, okay, we're good. All right, down the hill we go. And we're just going to go straight on this pathway. We're going to see Graveler over here. He's going to yell. Let's do a little dodge roll to try to avoid it. One, two, three. Three, four. Okay, he's weak. Go from the back. This should be a catch, right? One. All right, level 30 Graveler is it. It's done. It's complete. We're going to continue going down this path. We ain't stopping. We're going right to the next alpha. So let me just go ahead and mark the Graveler here so you guys don't forget. There it is on the map. So it's it's really back to back to back. We had, we had Gold Bat and we had Blissey up on the hill. And then we had Graveler. And then we're just going to go down this pathway. Run past these Pokemon here. And then we're going to go and see the Alpha Heracross sitting right over here at the Grueling Grove. So I'm going to mark that. And this is where Alpha Heracross is. Here we go. Let's wait for the L. 3, 2, 1. And there's the L. Okay, I couldn't roll in time. This one is level 45. So 1, 2, 3. And dodge after 3. Four. He's already facing behind us, and we're just going to hit. That was a very loud scream. And we have level 45 Heracross caught. It's it's done. For the final alpha Pokemon of Obsidian Field Lens, we're going to head over to Ramanas Island. You can fly there 
or surf there. The reason why we did this last in the video is because it's 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 technically the only alpha here that's locked behind progress. Uh, every other alpha can be visited and seen and possibly caught if you get your star ranking high enough before you approach or get the basket legion mount. So we're gonna go over here and we're just gonna we're just gonna make this really quick. Here he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Okay, here we go. He knows we're here. He's ready for this. One, two, three. Okay, we got three on him. One more, and it should be stunned. That's it, stunned. <laughs> Easiest ever. Alpha Infernape. There we go. Another research task complete as well. Four out of four. Pretty good. And we're going to just look at that on the map again. And if you take a peek at the map, these are all the alpha Pokemon that we have covered in this video in Obsidian Fieldlands. There are quite a bit of them, but let's go take a look at them at camp. All right, so here is everything we have that we caught. We have level 40 Rapidash, level 40 Luxio, 45 Snorlax, 60 Alakazam. Alakazam is pretty high leveled. 60 Gyarados, 31 Float, so pretty easy. You got your Scyther at level 42. Scyther becomes Cleaver, so having a giant Scyther is going to be really cool when you evolve it into Cleaver. So definitely a must grab when you're over here we got uh, vibero not that cool cricketune if you're if you're a cricketune fan cool <laughs> we have a mid evolution of staravia we got parasect parasect looks pretty cool we have stantler which you can evolve into word deer or weird deer let me know how to pronounce that i always i always seem to mispronounce some things but uh i'm glad i have the comment section to tell me when i do that but you get the new evolution that is in the hisuian region if you do this one and it's available in the first area so why not get your scyther and your stantler evolved to the new forms while you're here we have low punny at level 40 Golbat, which you can make into crowbat at 35 you have a really OP Blissey at the top where you have to get on your word deer and get up there and catch it. So it's this one's the most difficult catch rate out of all the Pokemon here. As you saw, we failed like two Ultra Balls, I think. And then we have Graveler at level 30. You can evolve this to Golem with a Link Cable. You got Heracross, pretty OP Pokemon. It's pretty cool to see that in the game. And then a Starter Infernape, which is going to be on the island of Ramanas. And these are all 18 alpha Pokemon that you will constantly find at these locations in the Obsidian Fieldlands. And by that, I mean, they're never gonna go away from the locations we marked. So when you go to each of those locations that we marked on the map, you will be able to find each one of them. So if you want, you can screenshot this map with everything done. Or if you followed along in the video doing this with me, you now have a marked up map with all the alpha Pokemon. So you know what to do. So if you found this video helpful, I know you did. Hit that subscribe button, please. Put a lot of effort into this video. It it was fun. Also, now you know how to catch alpha Pokemon like like that. Thank you again for all the support you guys show in the videos with the likes and comments and those who turn on the notification bell. Looking forward to making more content, so stay tuned. We're going to have this kind of format for all the areas in the game. My name is Philly Beats You. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.